Oh, hi everybody, I'm Tangie. And I'm Brian. And this is The, the Family, Family Business. Business. Ooh, that kind of... <laughs> Kind of, that was kind of like game show-ish, but yeah, okay, yes, we'll get it. Yes, we're we'll getting get there, we're getting there, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here and we just kind of want to share with everybody about our business. We want to kind of share our life, some of the insides and behind the scenes of us building a family empire. Right. A fragrance empire. A fragrance empire. How it started, where it's going, how we getting there, who with us. Right. You know? And all of the... <laughs> All of the little intricacies that go into it, right? Exactly. So first of all, the name of our company is called Fragrance of Elegance. And if you want to check out any of our products, our website is foecandles.com. Yes. And that will be, can you say that in like military? <laughs> is that Franklin Oscar Bravo? Wait. <laughs> we want to make Franklin sure. Oscar. Franklin Oscar Edward Candles. Candles. <laughs> just, just make sure they got that, right? right. FODCandles.com, and we are definitely. FODCandles.com. <laughs> we are shamelessly promoting. <laughs> Shameless promotion. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, people ask us questions all the time because what we were getting to know as we've been out there in the public, there's a lot of people who want to connect with us. On like a different level, people want to make a connection to like what makes you special, what makes your candles any different, or what makes you different. Well, why are you doing this? Why okay. are you doing this? What made you want to make candles in the first place? <laughs> That's the main question we get. Like they look at all the candles we've made and they're like, okay, obviously you're crazy. So <laughs> why are you crazy? It's like that's how what? I feel. I kind of feel like that. Like I feel like people look like like okay. You, you obviously have oh elves God. making a bunch of candles and soaps for you guys. Hey, wait a minute. We do have elves making candles. <laughs> I don't think our kids are going to like that we call them elves. I mean, well, if the shoe fits. <laughs> so we do get asked a lot of questions. So why did we, why did we start making candles? Uh, I think that's a question for you. Why did you start why did, why did you want to become a candle maker? Okay. So, I, I need to tell you guys about a trip that I had to Salvang as a kid that also kind of contributed to why I make candles. So, that whole experience, it was an experience. It was like one of those things. Okay, so Salvang is actually, um, it's a small Dutch city or like a small Dutch city in, uh, in California. So you're like, what is right, that? Right, so Salvang is in the mountains near Santa Barbara. It's mm -hmm. basically wine, wine country adjacent. And right now it's really known as a place where adults go to escape their children. Yes. It's like adulting, you know, you drink wine, you eat chocolates. <laughs> There's not a lot of kids there. It kind of looks like a dollhouse. It's basically based on old Scandinavian Dutch architecture. And so it's like, it's kind of like this little dreamlike place in the middle of nowhere next to an Indian casino. <laughs> <laughs> okay well when i was a kid so this this trip actually happened when i was a kid so this was back in like the 90s i want to say like 94 95 ish type of thing and so it kind of was more family oriented right. back then right and so it was all about oh my gosh it was all it's all about the like the gothic lampposts and the the timbered the timbered uh architecture out there like you know like the the buildings with the timber on the outside of them Everything looks really, really cool. You feel like you feel like you just walk into a Christmas movie. Right. It don't, I don't, they I don't even care. have a store yes. that just only sells Christmas. Yeah, stuff. oh my gosh. It's, it's the a Christmas, Christmas store. It's, it's <laughs> called the Christmas store and legit 365. They are it's just Christmas. Like all types of Christmas trees and you can get your ornaments and everything there. So that's that's a plug for them, hopefully. Anyway. So um we went down to Southern. This is actually a trip that my grandmother took us on it was a, a girls trip like my grandmother my mother and myself and a couple of my cousins and aunts and stuff like that and we went down to Salvain and um we were actually getting to see one of those shakespeare in the parks uh is it shakespeare yeah yeah actually yeah they have the shakespeare they have, like, in the park. amphitheater right exactly. okay so we were um after we had like this brunch and everything like that we all went like shopping and stuff and it was my turn to go to the store that i wanted to go to right i got to pick it you know, I had that power. I was about 10. You know what I mean? So it was like, okay, it's your turn. I was like, I got this. I got this. 
and I was walking around like I knew where I was going and I just ended up walking right into this candle shop. It was a little white, it looked like kind of like a church building. I don't know, whatever. But it was me. I was 10 and it's all the grown-ups had to listen to me. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> I walked right into it and I mean, when I opened the doors, it was just like, I was met with all of this beautiful fragrance. Like, I didn't even know where, I was just like, oh my gosh, I, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> I was just like, all this fragrance just hit us, and I just felt like, oh my God, I'm supposed to be here. Right, you belong, right? <laughs> I belong here, this is where I need to be. And I mean, like, it was one of those experiences for me going into that little candle shop that it was like, uh, now, like Angel there, just got his wings. Were there, <laughs> were there any um, candles that really stuck out to you that day that really, like, gave you perspective oh, on the answer? Honestly, you know what? The thing that stuck out to me was the, the vast variety that they have of different types of candles. So the majority of the candles that were there were actually pillar candles. So pillar candles are like make, mostly made of paraffin or palm wax. Okay. And they're the candles that are not inside of a glass for okay. people who don't know the terminology. So they're pillar candles. And I saw all different types of different types of things. And um, I saw a, <laughs> a pillar candle in the shape of a teddy bear, a freaking teddy bear. And I'm 10. Like, okay, I was not leaving without that teddy bear candle. My grandmother actually bought me a teddy bear candle, and I feel like that kind of, like, tipped the iceberg for me. Okay. So, the candle, my candle affinity just went up, like, 80,000 points at that point in time. So, right. I had that candle right up until I met you. I was right. growing. <laughs> I never right. burned it. It was just one of those things that I had. It was just one of those things. And so, after that, it was just like, okay... Uh, I'm a candle person. That's that's how I felt. And then after that, I feel like the rest is history. Like by the time I um by the time I was in my early teens, I would save up my lunch money, and I would go and there was a Walgreens that was not far from our house, like a couple of blocks away, and I would actually save up my lunch money or my allowance, and I would go and buy scents of candles. Wow. I would go and buy scents of candles, and then of course when you met me, right? Like I had candles in every room. Right. Well, every I only room. had like, well, I only had like three rooms. Right. But it was candles in every room. Every room. It smelled okay. really good. You better give me that room. <laughs> <laughs> so I came home and, you know, immediately you showed me these drawings. And these drawings were candles. And these candles, like, they had animal print prints on them and they looked like art installations, they, they, it, it was really interesting. And you were like, this is what I want to do. And I was just like, this is what you want to do? And it looked so interesting. I was like, okay, let's see where this goes. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay, let's, let's see what happens. Like, I'm a per type of person that says shoot for the moon, right? And so I can say like, you know, at that time, I wasn't thinking, okay, we're going to have our own candle business. We're going to have our own candle empire, right? Like now, I do think that. I believe that we're going to have Wait, our own candle. You literally, you literally said that we're going to have our own candle business and we're going to have our own candle empire <laughs> at the time. Okay. Just I, I might have said that. that. I might have said what that. You, you literally said that. Okay, but, but. <laughs> I'm a person okay. that believes you aim for the moon and you land where you land. Like, I know the saying goes, you shoot for the moon, land on the stars, right? And what I what I mean is, is you shoot for the maximum target of what you, could possibly happen, but, but you, you're going to land where you're going to land. And at that time, I wouldn't be able to say I have mapped out exactly how this whole thing is going to turn out. I can't see what the end result of all of this is going to be right but at the same time yeah i was like this this is going to be a real business you know what i mean even though i didn't know exactly how that was going to happen because i had yet to even make a candle yet and i didn't know anything that goes into candle making um what was going on in your mind when you shared those pictures those drawings with me about the candles you wanted to make what was going on what was that process like you know what? It wasn't as profound as it's, <laughs> it's, it wasn't as profound as he's making it sound. 
And I say that only because <laughs> I say that only because um I kind of like doodled and did stuff all the time. Like okay. honestly, yes. yeah, he came home and I have like a book of drawings, but he could have easily come came home that day and the whole living room would have been rearranged. All the <laughs> furniture would have been rearranged or completely different decor and <laughs> there was times when he walked in and he had to figure out if he was in the right house or not because right. I was that person. Right. So to be honest, when I was doing that, I was actually on the phone with a friend. I had came home from work that day, and after I did everything, I was on the phone with a friend, and I had like this bought this pack of votive candles. So most people know what votive candles are. They're like smaller pillar candles you can actually put in different containers and jars and things like that, an accent here and there. And I had bought like a pack, I don't know, like Rite Aid or something. And that was a few years ago, actually. <laughs> I think it was right. It might have been right age, likely. But anyway, I was like carving it out, like doodling kind of on the candle. And I made like these giraffe prints on the actual candle. Not even thinking about it. I was just on the phone just doodling, uh, doing stuff. Because I was a fidgeter, right? Okay. <laughs> so by the time I got off the phone, I literally had like a set. <laughs> so the set of votive candles were a set of giraffe votive candles. And I had painted them and everything, right? And so when I realized what I had done, I was like, oh man, this will be so dope if I was able, if I just like, you know, design candles, you know, at first when I, when I was starting to doodling and drawing and stuff in the book, I was thinking about things that I might've wanted to do for like a future decor for our home. Right. But I think the idea behind it was that candles will be the front and center. Right. You know, usually candles, people use candles to like accent. Right. They're just kind of something that you throw in there, just the cherry on top type of thing. But I wanted the candle to be the Sunday, not the cherry. You get me? Right. All right. right. There we go. So. Yes. And it soon, <laughs> I mean, we went from, you know, one day we learned how to make candles to eventually we were already making candles with animal print designs and yes. candles with, uh, you know, artistic jewelry decorations on them and all kinds of different kind of candles I had never seen before or been exposed to. And it seemed like it, it all happened in a flash, but it didn't. Uh, it took time and effort and- Well, we energy. had a lot more time because when right. we first did that, we had less children. Right, so right now, the name of our company is Fragrance Velvets, but the initial name of our business was actually Flicker of Essence. And what made you name the the business flicker of essence flicker of essence okay so i guess that was something i was thinking about i kind of was praying about like hey, what am i gonna name this what am i gonna name this because like I, like i said you were the reason that it became a business anyway and it was all of this pressure to actually name it because you know people are going to ask you remember when we named our kid like why did you name your kid Chad? anyway so I knew this name had to have like a meaning or whatever. And of course, as a candle business at the time, because we were just a candle business then, right? Right, right. Because we only sold candles. And so now we're a fragrance business. We're full on fragrance right. with every type of uh, fragrance engine. Okay. So <laughs> full on fragrance. At this point in time, we we're a candle business. So I'm like, okay, it has to be something with candles, right? Mm -hmm. So the flicker, of course, you know, that's something that flames do. Sometimes the flame can flicker a little bit. Like if we get like an air pocket or something around your candle, it kind of flicker or whatever. And I think about that around that time, I really, really romanticized everything about a candle. I mean, the flame, the wick, and remember, because I was a poet, like, my, he's a poet, and then I got into poet, I was a poet kind of too. Right. Not on his level, though. He was on, he was on some other stuff, but like, just the flicker, you know, you think about the, the flame dancing, like, even right here, look at it. Are you going to be able to show that? <laughs> you going to be able to show that anyway. So, um, so that's where the flicker came from. And then... The flicker of essence, it really, I really wanted to give the feeling of something's getting ready to go down, right? right? Okay. A flicker of essence, like when you first turn your candle on, right? Yeah. You don't get the fragrance right away a lot of times, you know right. what I mean? You don't get it wafting throughout the whole entire house the, the first at the first time, but it's about to go down, right? Right, right. So that's what it is. So you think about flicker and then you think about the word essence. Okay. I wanted people to understand that something is getting ready to begin. You right. Know, and that's what's kind of begin. beautiful because <laughs> this story is about the beginning. The beginning. How it all started. So we, how it all started, just to recap, 
Tangy always went and made candles. <laughs> she went to Solvay and got a candle that looked like a teddy bear. And that made her a candle buyer, let's say. And then one day she was doodling on a candle. Because she'd be at home doing stuff like that. <laughs> and and it turned into a bunch of drawings in a notebook and she presented it to me. And I was like, all right, bet. Bet. Let's make this candle business. And we never stopped. We never stopped. Soon enough, we were learning how to make candles and we just never stopped making candles. In fact, we started making soap too. <laughs> we started making soap. And we that's making all. like a bunch of stuff. Yeah. But you know yeah. what? I really feel like it's a blessing. Like right. God, it, we really got blessed. And I think the, the best thing about the candle business or the fact that I like candles is that we were able to do it together. Right. Like um, this wouldn't have been a candle business if you hadn't like pushed for it. Because right. like I said. And there's like, going to be a whole people, story explaining why. Exactly. <laughs> Because no one's really like asking for anything. The malls are closed and the uh, wow. letters are getting delivered to the most North Poles. Um, we're not getting any letters, so what, what can we do for the almost the entire year? That is very interesting. I think um, everybody should know that like they need to send more letters to Santa. Like that is a huge thing, right, Stencil? Oh yes, they, they really do. So our producers were telling me something about you have some juicy news about Rudolph. Oh, Rudolph. Rudolph, he's big, big headed. He's big headed, not Rudolph. Well, not, but, but big headed, I don't really know that Johnny head like me. But, I mean, he is all into himself, like prideful. Really? Yes. Like, all the other reindeer don't even care anymore. The reason why, the real, the real story of Rudolph is that he thought he was so better than everybody because, because he was different. Oh my goodness. Could you tell us about Rudolph's dad? I know that's kind of juicy. Oh, Rudolph's Who was dad? Rudolph's real dad? A clown. A clown. a clown! How else would he get to spend nose? That makes so much sense. So Rudolph's real dad is a clown. That explains the red nose. You guys. So we're going to get into that again. But oh my gosh, do I hear Santa? when you were talking about what you go through with Santa. Well, Santa, he eats everything he sees. Like, let's say I just had put dog poop right here. He'll eat that. No really? Eh, yeah, that is so gross. Well, can you tell me about some of these goodies that you got here? It looks pretty good. You got candy, you got cookies, and... Oh, yeah. Um, so all these candies, it's all I actually got because he eats everything else. Really? And no, 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 no matter all it is. And he really likes the Reese's and the cookies. And I still have a bowl full of kisses. So you don't I share with Santa? Oh, do oh I do I really do. But after you saw you saw sharing with Santa, he always comes back. And <laughs> instead of asking for more, he'll just take it. That's horrible. Very... Santa seems like such a nice guy. I actually love Santa. Well, Santa, Santa. The thing about Santa Claus, everybody makes him seem like he's amazing, great guy. And then, like in movies, let's say him in space movies for some reason. And they'll put us... I actually like movies, but go ahead. And they put us in these movies and make us seem like monsters. Like in some movies, um, they make us look, look like monsters, small little gremlins. Like kind of, and sometimes they make us look like gnomes. And I just don't like gnomes. And <gasps> they make Santa look like this giant gnome. This big guy who knows everything. So Santa's not actually big? What? No, not really. Really? He's just a couple of just taller than us. Really? That is very interesting. I had no. Oh my gosh, Santa! Oh, oh, oh! Well, these cookies are delicious. Oh! You want chocolate? You get a chocolate. You get a chocolate. Everyone gets chocolate. Reindeer duty? Okay. You get to work with reindeers. How cool. It, 
it isn't really that cool. So I, I always have to feed them, give them water, and then I also have to clean up the poop. That's the hardest one. Because, mm. like, if I have to clean up all the poop, I mean, day after day, hour after hour, minutes after minutes, I'm just cleaning up Dookie. It's disgusting. And, like, it's only, it's just very disgusting. Because I eat a lot. Thing. Well, Stencil, do you actually get a day off? Well, yeah, um, one day, actually. Cool. It's Christmas Eve, because instead of um, pooping where they usually poop, they poop all around the world. <laughs> Ew. So funny. Oh, gosh. Well, that is something I never thought about. So they just go in the air, huh? It doesn't get me mad at me. <laughs> oh, my. I like that pick, pick, pick up poop. <laughs> Okay. It's me, Tangi again, and I have Agent Jolly here. Yeah. Okay, so Agent Jolly is actually a special agent on the Super okay. Elf Force, Santa's special secret security, right? Mm hmm So, Agent Jolly, can you tell me a little bit about what you do for Santa? You know, take the hits from, get paid the most. Really? Well, how do you get paid? I get the Bitcoin. Oh, you get paid in Bitcoin. No. Choc chocolate coins. Yeah. Okay, that is awesome. So can you tell me a little bit about how you protect Santa? Because you seem like a real tough guy. You know, taking a hit for Santa. Make sure the elves are okay, not bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is actually cool. So is Santa out, like, is he in the danger all the time? Is this a, is this a thing? Nah, he's not in the danger. Yeah, well, Santa. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, can you tell me a little bit about the incident that happened earlier? We know we had Stencil here. Are you, do you know Stencil? Yeah. I remember whooping her butt. Trying to, you know, hit Santa. You, you did what now? I whooped her butt. Oh, uh, you mean like when you were on the floor? <laughs> I did. Oh, okay. And so, how's Santa doing? Oh, yeah, he's fine. Eating cookies, milk, getting fatter every day. <laughs> I actually, our producers told us that Santa has on a arm brace right now, and he's limping. Yeah. He's a faker, you know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Well, uh. You got duty. <laughs> Mr. Dance Moves himself, Daryl the Elf. What's up? Hi, Daryl. It is really nice to have you here and everything. So, can you tell me a little bit about your responsibilities at the North Pole? Oh, yeah. I make sure all the toys get into the sleigh. Really? How cool. Yeah, it's fire. It's fire. Okay. So, is it like heavy or, you know, you picking oh, up? No, no. I don't carry them. I just make sure to get in there. Oh, so you, okay, so you're running things. That's cool. That is really cool. Yeah, I um, play Xbox. Oh, wow. All right. So uh, you had some pretty cool dance moves over there in that last shot of you. Yeah, uh, sometimes it's catch a vibe, you know? Row with the flow. That was kind of like a chaotic flow going there. You just kind of start dancing and times like that. Or? Yeah, it's fire. It's fire. Daryl the Elf. Everyone. Want to see me dance? Sure. <laughs> Tangent in and I have the famous Santa Claus. So Santa, how is everything? Hold up. I have a lot of complaints. 